all right guys so in this video i just want to quickly discuss that why index in computer science start at zero and not at one just like everything else because when you first learn about it it's a bit unusual but there is a very good reason behind it so let's and in my syntax i'm just going to use c plus plus syntax but all this is very universal so it applies to almost all major languages so let's say if you have a, this line int a is zero so you know that a is variable stores zero but what happens in the memory your computer has a big chunk of memory and inside it it has small rectangles which has addresses just like your home right so what this line does is it saves zero inside let's say and this block of memory has address 100 and this a just points to that memory location right so a is just a pointer to that location and in c if you know c you can find the address of a by using this syntax okay so when you declare a vector so now coming to why index that is zero in vector it means in array so if you have a vector of integer let's call it big v which saves five integers so your computer what your computer does is it gives you a space for five integers depending on how many bits it takes so three so it gives you five one two three four five five blocks of memory and let's say for simplicity this this is location 200 201 202 203 and 204 okay so what this v is actually doing is it just points to the front of that right and then you know it's a file long then you know what is going to be the location at the end right so it just needs to point at the front and then you know okay you are saving int inside so how many bytes it's gonna take and you're gonna know when is gonna be the next location this is just for simplicity right because if you are saving a big object inside of this vector which takes a bigger space then this location this is just locate address of byte this will be a further than 201 but just for simplicity assume it is as 201 so this v just points to the front so if you want to assign some value to this we all know we are doing because it starts with zero index we put zero and let's say assign 11 to this so this is 11 right but so what this syntax is actually doing it's saying okay go to this location 200 add zero to it and put 11 inside so this is 200 and 11 gets into 200 location right if you do v2 is equal to let's say 27 so you say okay v points to 200 location at 2 so this is 202 and point 27 inside and this gets 27 but let's assume it it was starting with index 1 if it was starting with one and you want to put something at the first location now let's say you want to put 13 inside now but this points to 200 right so if this index starts at one you have to do one minus one right because this is if index starts at one if you put one here then this is going to point to 201 so you have to deduct one so this is deduct one so this is your index and you have to deduct one from everything if you do want to put something in 202 you have to do two minus one and that will go like v is 200 plus two 202 so this you have to do three because one two and index three is 202 so you have to add three minus one and that is 202 and that is this so see this makes it really messy so everything starts with zero 
and then your slicing works well intuitively because v always points to front so you say okay start this with zero because this is always pointing to it and i don't need to add anything to this location to put first thing in so that's why index always start with zero